Hey, good morning. Some scrap on the curb. I don't know what is up with this. Oh, they got rocks and pebbles everywhere. I was trying to think. I'm like, why is... Are they replacing the road? They just... It's like they put tar down and then put these pebbles. It's a little humid out here. Kind of steamy. It's an old shark. What's that? What's that? Well, at least the insulated copper wire is going to be recycled. Any other goodies? Wait a minute. Hey, you're steel, aren't you? Yes, you are. I bet there's no that's all plastic <laughs> I'm trying to think of some flat earth joke oh, nothing's coming to mind new new dent Ooh, someone got a bicycle what yeah, that's coaxial cable. That it, it weighs, I don't know, 20% is metal. 80% is non-metal. Yeah, I don't want this flying out of the truck. I found some scrap yesterday, but I didn't go to the scrapyard, so. It's in my yard. If you watched, I, I made a, just a short video yesterday. And yeah, I just took it out and put it in the yard. I wanted a clear truck for this morning. I was going to have some flat earth joke. Wait, wait a minute. Deja vu all over again. <laughs> New dent. <laughs> Deja vu all over again and again. Hmm. I sense a theme. But Paul, hey, I see the moon. What is helium steel? This, this is helium steel. Oh, and 11 cents. I got it. That's a scrap tip right there. Because if you don't tie a string to it, it will float away. Hmm. Oh, we're good. Hmm. I'm wondering if it works. Is there a freezer portion? There it is. You don't look so bad. Hmm, it might be testable. How heavy are you? Hmm, you're heavy enough to be awkward.
I'll bet that works. And I'll bet this is steel. Yep. Whoa, you see the little red spider? Like a super small red spider. Like the size of like a piece of dust. I think the snap tool is gonna get its workout today. Snap tool beta 2024. So it's just starting to, to wane. So it was full moon just a couple days ago. Hmm. Truck is looking full. Huh. That wasn't too well thought out, was it? Hey, not so bad. Just flag me down, says he has a refrigerator. Let's handle it. I appreciate that. That actually was super fast. I'm gonna go into this abandoned schoolhouse parking lot or drop off area, whatever this is, was, and tie down this refrigerator. Hopefully it's long enough. Might not be. Nope. Mm. Uh, maybe. Maybe not. Nope. All right. I need to get a little bit more rope. Yeah, that'll do it. Just barely. But it will. I'll keep it from bouncing out. Man, that corn is getting tall. I was just talking to my buddy. Um, I didn't have the camera on. He's the guy that has the huge garden and he's saying the tomatoes are just massive the cucumbers are huge but because it's so dry that he's having to do a lot of watering hmm. yeah this isn't helium i thought it was helium it's not yeah it's uh it has not been raining very much But the 
corn's doing all right. I don't even know. The corn, is it, is it a thirsty plant? I don't even know. Hey, you go. That's actually kind of, kind of sturdy. I think this is the, uh, this is the end that has the you put your stuff in the shelves but i'm just wondering what is, is it for tools So I'm going to guess 7,000, 7,000 pounds even on the scale. Uh-oh. All right, he's not going on the scale. <laughs> For a second, I'm like, where's he going? All right, what's going on with the scale here? Can I see? No way. 7,000 pounds even? Come on, Paul. Sounds like you're cheating. <laughs> so, I'll bet there's someone thinking that I put all those uh, satellite dishes in a row like that, and then I pre-guessed 7,000 pounds. Uh, you know, it just happens like that. Can I pre-guess Michael's just gonna show up right now? No. Wait, there he is. Actually, he was there. <laughs> I thought I was wrong once. Um, yeah. I don't know if I can get all the way over there. Uh oh, I better get out of Bill's way here. All right, I think I'm gonna park over here until I know where I can go. Yep. Wait a minute, wait. You're not moving, are you? Yeah, I'm gonna ask. All the way over? I can't tell what he's saying. What's up, man? Right here? Yes, sir. Hey. On the other side? Okay. Right on, man. I can definitely do that. Hey, hey. Uh-oh. Looks like I'm gonna have to wait for the train. Sometimes, because there's two tracks, sometimes you can have another train going by. Uh-oh. Can I get through here? I think I can. Ooh, that's close, dude. All right, so he says go over there to the pile. And this is all cleared out. I like it. Okay. Yes. I can go to the pile. Don't need a honk. 
Oh, I see an old Schwinn bicycle. I'm gonna back up 10 more feet. That's not a Schwinn, is it? It might be. It's kind of cool. All right, I'm gonna back up to right there. All right. As long as you know I'm here, bro. All right, I need to be kind of quick. I feel like I'm in the, in the hazard zone. No, that's a what is that thing is it a press I think it's a press yeah I've been learning to not tie but just to loop around so I can just stay on one side of the truck to untie Mostly on one side of the truck down and tie. Hey, it got quiet. <laughs> if you're a parent, you know to be suspicious when it gets quiet. <laughs> no time to lose. I have to put it in front of my door or I'll forget it. Right, time is of the essence. Actually, it has wheels, so let's keep it front to back right there perfect perfectamente this is where I look all strong and stuff I take aluminum or a helium and just chuck it I think I'm gonna keep you, see if you work. Yeah, that'll be 30 bucks on for our sale or Facebook Marketplace. Chicken kick. Have a seat. That's a nice scrap pile. All right, keeping you around. All right. I think we're done here. Thanks for hanging out with me. Seriously. This has been a tough week, so I appreciate you hanging out with me. And after reading all the comments, yeah, pardon me, I'm a little out of breath. <sighs> after reading all the comments, um, that I'm not going through this alone. I mean, not just that you're with me going through the loss of my mom, but that you've been through losses like me, you know, and that 
reading through the comments and I haven't responded to all of them not even close I just want to say thank you for for sharing your experiences and probably the the toughest thing that I'm going through right now because it's six days since my mom passed is remembering the, I'm, I'm having invasive thoughts of not so fun experiences of my childhood and recent years and I've been asking God and here's the thing is that reading through the comment section you know <laughs> thank you God you know what I'm going through regarding the negative thoughts and aspects of having to ask God to help me forgive my parents and to forgive um, just wrongs and I'm asking God to put that in my heart to reconcile things that I have done in in my life to my kids there's someone standing right here go ahead okay okay yep have a good day yeah so I think I'm gonna go home and just talk through stuff with my kids um, yeah because I have obviously um, in my past even though I've been away from the dark days of addiction for 16 years it did affect them there's no, there's no doubt I, I didn't mean to giggle there I meant as in like wow hopefully those are rocks that I hear in my tires and not steel chunks all right so I'll bet that was 500 pounds so I'm gonna say 6,500 pounds Six thousand five sixty. Yeah, so that's four hundred and sixty pounds. Sixty-five forty. All right, so sixty-five forty. Uh, yeah. All right, let's not crash into this trailer here, but I want to be out of the way. Yeah, I'm excited about today, about editing a video and just getting back into the swing of things. So, Michael, what is happening? you are happening, bro. You yeah, well, it's here on Monday. Yeah, I mean, just kind of, just kind of doing my thing. Nice, nice. Yeah. So, how's the fam? Good, good. Now, are you the youngest of like 400 kids? I'm the baby. You're like the youngest? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And how many brothers do you have? There's four of us. Okay. How many sisters? Six. Six sisters. Wow. Six sisters. Yeah, there's a number of them over there. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Like are you? Okay. Sometimes I feel like they like are you. <laughs> <laughs> Do they ever actually get mad? They're mad. No. Because, <laughs> um, I mean, there's arguing, you know, with, like, banter. But then, like... It's, it's not, what is it, um, what do you call it, um, discussions? They're not discussions. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I think it's all love, but... Sure, sure. But it's just a little, little heated. We're it's really a little... prideful. Our family, I like to... I, it's not a thing to be proud of. But we're very prideful. Uh, uh, okay. So sometimes it's hard to. You're spirited. And we're to be more humble. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, okay. So that's why we have a lot of disagreements. Okay. So it, it's healthy. I think it's healthy at the end of the day. You have to. You have to be able to express yourself. Yeah, yeah. But, um, Dude, expression actually it helps with our yeah, blood pressure and yeah, our, it you know, stress. absolutely. So um, that's. Um, that's the deal. But that's why it's it's fun. I think it's all in good it's in good art. It is, yeah man. Cool. I'll see you, man. I'll see you later. See you later. Yeah, thanks for sharing, man. Family. That's a trip.
Family's a trip, huh? <laughs> Thanks, God. Thank you for family. Thank you for, uh, just thank you for the love that you put in us, even though sometimes, oftentimes, we can be a bit spirited towards each other. If not, you know, more negative. Ah, Lord, give me the spirit of reconciliation. Give me the spirit of kindness, regardless of events. Lord, that is what I need today. That is what I need today, Lord. And anyone else that needs that right now, Lord, I am praying that you give us the thoughts and the feelings and the actions of reconciliation, regardless of what's go actually going on. Regardless of any any wrongs, that for us to it says in your word for us not to keep a record of wrongs, for us just to not do that. Lord, help us with that in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, let's go inside. This this diesel truck's a bit loud. Pull this window up. Right. Now we're good. <laughs> Come on, Paul. All right, 460 pounds, $120 a net ton, $27.60. Yeah, so I was out there for a couple hours this morning and 27 bucks. So I still need to go home, edit this video, take a look at it. Um, it's going to be nicer, actually a lot less humid later on today. So I'm going to go for a bike ride, run around and just... Just exhale, like quite literally. Oh, this has been a week. It's been a it's been a rough week, and um, most everybody, if not everybody, goes through this. Thanks for being supportive of me. Thank you for being supportive of each other. Because um, I know that, uh, like right now, I'm uh, helping out family members. Um, being supportive of family members, being there for them uh, during this time. Because I'm not the only one affected by my mom's passing. A lot of my family members are going through that. So, oh man, my glasses are dirty. So it, it's kind of awkward to see through them. So I'm gonna clean my glasses. Thanks for hanging out. You're awesome. All right, let's see. This refrigerator works. Oh, hey, don't fall off. Seriously, dude. That's not cool. Sounds like it's starting up. This seems a little oxidized. I'll bet it works. All right, so it's only been like 10 minutes and this is already completely cold. Yep, this whole metal thing is cold. So we'll see if it does that for everything else. I think we might have a winner. I have a family of pollinators right here. You want to see? Mm. Hello, ladies. Good morning. You doing good? Your house looks nice. 